UCU visits many properties that are on city water and have mechanical timers. This video is going to help homeowners and contractors learn how to replace the mechanical timer with a digital timer. And again, this is only for city water systems. What we have here, we have a mechanical device, mechanical clock. Uh, it's running 110 volts. We have these three wires here, which is what we're going to look at first. We have the black one, which is our hot wire, the white one, which is our neutral wire, and we have the green one, which is the ground wire. The first rule when working with electricity is make sure your power is off and just be safe. Uh, so what we're going to first do, we're going to remove these wires and remember, we got to remember which color they are because they don't always come in this color. Alright, if that was, let's say if that was like a, a red and a blue, how would I know which, which one corresponds to what? Well, it would have little name uh, labels on the bottom, which is, uh, this one they call it a line wire, this one they call it a neutral, and this is the ground. Okay, once this is 110 volts come in here, 120 volts. Uh, it'll it'll drop down, which is this device here. This is a drop down. This is a transformer. It brings the power down to 24 volts, which is what we have here. These 24 volts run all the way down to the valve, and it's what turns your valve on and off. This is a master valve right here. What we're going to do today, we're going to show you how to install this when you have this device. Okay, this is what we have left uh, coming from the from your home. Uh, the wires coming out, they were, they were 110. Remember to keep the power off. Uh, this was from the mechanical device that we just had. Um, we pulled these out. Remember what we had over there, which was the black one was the hot, the white one was the neutral, and the green one was the brown. Okay, and this is the new digital clock that we're about to install which is, if you look at it, uh, they're basically the same colors if you have those colors in there already. If not, you just need to remember which ones are the hot ones and the neutrals. And in this case, the colors are the same, so what we're going to do, we're just going to connect them the same, with the same colors. Okay, these are the wires that are coming from the valve. They're the 24 uh, that are powered by 24 uh, volts. So we're just going to stick one of them into the common port. And since this is a master valve, we're going to stick it into the master valve port which is labeled usually MV. And that is it. The instructions presented in this video are only applicable to city water systems with low voltage. If you have a pump or high voltage, then you do not want to use this video as a guidepost for installation of the system.